Okay, thanks everybody for joining us. We'll go ahead and get started and we'll just give the first question to Sam McEwen, Omaha World Herald. Hey Scott, how you doing? Good, how are you? Sorry about that. I had my uh, I had my audio off. Hey, uh, I have a I have a, a little bit different question, um, and I'm sure other guys will ask about the team this week. But Bill Moose uh, mentioned, I think it was on Tuesday, just about the uh, you know the facilities and that they're coming along, and obviously the shovel will go in the ground later than uh, than expected, but that the design phase is kind of is kind of in a good place. I'm just curious what, you know, what, what your thoughts were on that at this moment in time and how you feel like that's going and whether it, it's going to comport to the vision that you had. Yeah, I have very little to do with that, particularly during season. Um, I got other things to focus on. Um, I do think it would be a boon to our program if we were able to do something like that. A lot of schools have uh, probably surpassed us in, in some areas of facilities. Certainly our stadium is as good as there is in the country, but um, you know, we're, we're in Nebraska. We need to give kids as many reasons as we can give them uh, to pick Lincoln, Nebraska over other places that they might be close to. I know COVID's changed a lot uh, with how we were going to proceed with that. And uh, people are in higher ranking positions than me are making the decisions on how to deal with that. What, what does it do say, though, about the fan base that there's still been really good financial support despite a really hard time in our nation and in our state just uh, because of COVID? Yeah, biggest answer I can give to that is I hope we come out of it soon. I um, hope things get back to normal, and I know how uh, committed people were to it before that happened, and um, you know, I hope for everybody's sake that we get back to normal and everybody's in a good place, and yeah, if we are, then I think people are anxious and willing to help us uh, try to get more recruits and win here. Next up is Parker Gabriel, Lincoln Journal Star. Hey Scott, uh, most of your your big hits in the in the run game so far have come from the quarterback position, and I know you said on Monday that Wandale was close to getting a couple. Overall, are you getting the looks that you want for your running backs, or or what do you make of the production from from that position particularly so far? Yeah, you know I've said a bunch. We need to hit some more big plays in the offense, so we don't have to sustain as many drives. Those need to come in the pass game and the run game. Uh, we're going to be consistently working toward that. Um, I, I think uh, there's some things we can do better. It's interesting, you know, we're, our, our offense is probably a little different than some others in the league. And it, it's just funny to me how we get in games and people play us different than what we've seen on tape in about every game that we've looked at. And uh, we need to do a good job adjusting to those things and creating some opportunities. Uh, but we've got some looks uh, at least the last two weeks that we weren't expecting. and. Um, you know, and, and part of that's just we need to block a little better and, and break a tackle or make somebody miss from time to time. Um, but I think those things will come. A, a follow-up on that point about how teams play you. I was wondering about this at the beginning of the season, too. As you get into so your three, you know, third time through the division now with those teams, with your staff, are teams – have you seen teams play you different even this year compared to the first two? Or – and I'm curious in particular because of – how familiar you are, obviously, with the style of defense that Lovey runs. Yeah, you know, I, I said a lot of complimentary things about Northwestern. Uh, when you watch them, they're in pretty much the same look a lot, and they're really good at it. Uh, we got in the game against them, and they did some things that we'd never seen them do. Um, so again, we have to we have to be able to adjust a little better to that, and um, that's kind of what we've always dealt with uh, running the offense that we've run with a little more heavy. Uh, read and quarterback run and those things. Um, uh, Illinois definitely played us different last year than they did the first year, and and I kind of expect uh, maybe some change up this week. So um, we just got to be ready to manage it. Next question comes from Andy Kendi, KETV. Hey, Scott, um, you've seen your teams react after a loss. How has your team reacted after this win, and uh, how is their readiness for Illinois on Saturday? Uh, I think we're ready. Um, you know, that was the message all week, uh, that you can't relax after a win. You have to be that much more committed to being really good uh, and to getting better during the week. Um, you know, defensively, I think we're doing a really good job of that uh, because we're more veteran on defense, and I think those guys get it. Um, offense has just been a, a process of bringing the young guys along the whole year and, and trying to lean on our veterans. Uh, but 
I, I was pleased with the intensity and the attitude this week. Brian Christofferson, Nebraska 24-7. Okay, we'll move on. Hey, hey, uh, there you go. Hey, Scott. Oh, sorry, Scott. I, I didn't hear. Uh, did, uh, Chins mentioned the guys got the black shirts this week. Have you seen the guys in the program, uh, current players, do they have the same passion and drive to, to get a black shirt as sort of back in your playing day? And is that something that recruits kind of are interested in too, that, that history and tradition? Yeah, uh, I, I see it. I saw the emotions on the guys' faces when they got awarded a black shirt. Um, I think you're probably in recent years, and I might be guilty of it, those have been given out a little too easy. Um, so we didn't give any out uh, until after this last game. Um, they don't have them permanently. If they don't live up to the standards of the black shirt, they won't keep them. Um, you know, I don't want this to be like Halloween, where you just walk up and knock on the door and get a piece of candy. It's got to be a little harder than that. Uh, we gave out 12. Um, Dismuke and Deontay and Decap and Cam all got them in the secondary. Uh, Will and Colin got them at linebacker. Uh, we really have three starters at outside backer, so Garrett and JoJo and Caleb got them. And uh, Stilly, Ty Robinson, and, and Daniels got them on the D-line. And there was a lot of emotion when they got them. Um, those kids won us a game last week with their play at the end of the game, and they deserve them. Uh, but they have to keep doing the things that they need to do to continue to deserve them. Thank you. Thank you. Got time for about two more. Going to Kevin Suits, K O L N K G I N. Hey, Scott, as somebody who played high school football in this state, you know the importance of trying to reach the finals and getting to play at Memorial Stadium. What was your reaction when you heard that the NSAA would not use uh, your facility for the championships and instead play those games at host sites? It's just been a weird year. I feel bad for the kids. They're not getting an opportunity to do that. Um, you know, I, I, I'm disappointed that I can't go watch. Uh, recruiting dead periods now have been extended even farther until spring. Uh, so we can't go to any games. We can't watch these kids play. Um, that being said, a championship's a championship. And I wish everybody luck this week that's playing in them. And uh, it's an exciting deal. I never won a Nebraska State championship, got beat uh, twice in the in the three times in the playoffs and twice in the semifinals and um, something special about winning the championship so good luck to everybody and our last question we go back to Sam McEwen Omaha World Herald hey Scott um, do, do you get the sense that um, you, your offense is is going to have uh, you know a little bit more continuity this week because Luke's kind of hadn't been through a full game and maybe knows what what the ebbs and flows of a game are versus a drive or two yeah you know I wouldn't just point to Luke Sam um uh you know it's a second game he's not gonna get everything figured out in one but I hope he's a little more comfortable in this game and that being said I thought he he did some really good things and played well enough for us to win Saturday um it's just when I when I look at it practice uh you know, Luke's getting some touches, and, and, and he's playing, and Marvin Scott's playing, and Vokalek's playing, and Ben Hart's playing, and Piper's playing, and Alante Brown's playing, and Xavier Betts is playing. And I, I go on and on, but that's a lot of first-year players. Uh, gets me really excited about where we're going and the trajectory. Um, but I was not near as good a player my first year at Nebraska as I was my second. And we're just trying to build those guys, uh, get them better every week. Um, and I, I expect more, more of those young guys to start playing as we continue through this year. Uh, that's why I mentioned we're a little more veteran on defense right now. We've got a couple young guys playing, but there's a lot of guys with a lot of snaps and experience, and uh, we're trying to bring the offense along. And um, I'm, I'm impressed with their attentiveness to try to keep improving and the effort uh, to try to keep knowing their stuff. But, uh, you know, we're playing a really good defense. Um, more than anything, I, I give Illinois so much credit and Lovey, uh, you know, I respect him so much. Um, they've caused about as many fumbles as anybody in the country this year and going back. And we need to take care of the football. We won the turnover battle Saturday. 
Um, we fumbled five times up there last year, lost four of them, uh, gave them a lot of points off those, but they're scoring a lot of points off those against everybody. So we have to be really good taking care of the ball, and the young guys need to know that. Okay, thank you, Coach, and thanks, everyone, for joining us.